Alright, so let's get into 3D modeling. Um, let me get rid of this. Uh, let's just exit sketcher all together, start fresh, standard orientation. Um, okay, so we're gonna go we'll sketch, select a plane. And this is how any 3D part starts. We're just gonna make a block, a cube, if you will. Uh, 50, 50. Okay, so we have this right here now. Let's see, uh, and we can extrude it. So let's just confirm the sketch first, and we extrude it, and you know, select, let's say, 50, and we have a block here. We have a 50 by 50 by 50 block. And we can hit OK, and now we have this. It's it's you know, it's not really pretty, but it's a block, and it's a nice block. Um, <clears throat> so now let's say if we want to make something a bit more complex, we have this block. Uh, let's see, let's see if we want to have a, a hole in it. Actually, uh, I'll just go in order. We used extrude, we'll do a wall sweep and sweep land. We'll just go over them one by one and then we'll make, we'll do a case study where we make things that are just a combination of things. But let's just go over the basics first, I guess. So this is how you extrude things. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to revolve things now. Uh, I'm going to just make a sketch again. Uh, a revolve is usually used for something that's going to be symmetric let's say like a glass so we're gonna get a little fancy now um, let's make a glass and this is not going to be a good looking glass I can assure you that uh, uh, that see, you can already see this is a very ugly glass it, it got picked on by all the other glasses that were nicer they were all wine glasses, but this is just, you know, your standard Walmart quality glass. Um, Alright, so that's that's my terrible attempt at humor. Okay, so, so let's say we want to make a glass out of this. Oh my god, this is a terrible idea. We're going to make a glass which is not going to be able to hold anything because we forgot to make it hollow. Okay, so, so let's, let's make it hollow. Hollow, hollow, hollow. I, I am. All right, whatever. Uh, okay. So now it's hollow. So this is this is the two D. Let me turn off dimensions, just to make it look nice. All right. So this is if if you were to take a glass, cut it in half, and look at it, look at cut it in half, and then cut that in half, and then take a two D sketch of it. This is what it would look like. It'll make sense soon. Don't worry. All right. So let's let's just confirm this sketch. And now we want to rotate this sketch. Let me just get rid of this plane. So when we want to, I mean, evolve it. We want to evolve this sketch. So we select this sketch. Oh uh, my God. Before we enter the wall tool, select the sketch. Say you want to evolve it. And then we turn on this thing. Oh my god, I forgot something terribly important. Alright, so so we need to go back to the sketch now and modify things. How do we do that? Right here, the model 3 that I went over about 2 or 3, uh, the first video, second video. We can right click it and say edit definition. And look at that, we're back in the sketcher. Now, one crucial thing for uh, revolutions is we need a center line. So we can just make a center line right here by using this datum center line click a point then it's gonna it's gonna make a center line there but then you need to have another point to show which direction so we can make it this way we can make it this way click it again and it's gonna make that center line for you and that's it and we confirm it now we can use revolve and oh my god what what Is there not a line there? There's a line there. Evolve it. Okay. Let me edit the 
sketch. Did I make the wrong set of line? I probably made the wrong set of line, didn't I? That's a datum line. Okay, so I finally figured out what was wrong with it. Uh, I'm gonna just recreate what the error was. Um, okay, so when you do revolve, uh, uh, I didn't notice that there's there's two lines here. Um, this is this I guess is a good example of why you need to be very careful with the uh, Creo. Um, two lines are not something you can use to revolve because even though they're exactly in the same axis same uh, they can be in the same axis of rotation there just can't be two of them so if I try to rotate this now I mean evolve I don't know why I keep saying that see right there it won't let me select it it says cannot have two or more consecutive lines in the axes on the axes but but strangely enough well, not strangely, uh, accurately enough, if you select a line that isn't like that, you, you make something that looks like this. Now, obviously, this is not a glass, and we don't want to make this. Even though it looks kind of cool, I don't know what this would be. But, you know, let's just go back and fix it. Um, if we go right-click, edit sketch, just delete the line, delete the line, and we just make a, a new line those two points and we can evolve it uh, we could do that or we could do well, I'll show you two things uh, let me just do this okay so I'm, I'm just gonna leave the center line here with just as you know just, I guess try to figure out what that is all right so now we go revolve we select this sketch well I guess I gave that away uh, so, so you select the, the center line is used as you know the axis of rotation, uh, and that's what serves as uh, axis of rotation. But then you can select any continuous line, one continuous line, and it will evolve the geometry around that line, and it will make uh, what you can see here. And you know some interesting looking results, but we wanted a glass. This is you know Walmart style glass. It's very uh, edgy, um, and this is this is a very useless glass because it won't really hold anything. But you know, uh, okay, okay. So that's that's a glass. We'll just make it. And once we made this, we'll, we'll kind of modify it, I guess, to make it look nice. And as we're doing that, we'll highlight some features. Now, right now, this is this is what I'm about to tell you. It's more of an aesthetic thing, but right here this box you can click it and say shading with edges and it just looks slightly more pleasing to the eye to look at this environment and that's it but now that we're in 3d we can we can mess around with some uh, tools we can use something called round and chamfer it's very much like the fillet and fillet and chamfer we click it we click the edges that we want around and look at that it gave us a dimension in a very nicely colorful font for some reason we want it to be 50 and it looks like it's 50 look at that we want to round it again and this time we'll select this edge oh my god it looks beautiful look at this uh, and that's that we will round again from the inside this time oh my god magic I have no idea what 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 is this. Uh, let me just let me just. Okay, I don't I don't know what that was. Uh, I guess the size is too big. Let me try ten. And let me select. Yeah, there we go. The size was too big, and it was it was it was going into its own dimension there. Uh, but you can see now now it's looking like an actual glass, and you know it's looking nice now. Let's 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 do more stuff looks nice we're gonna do round we're gonna click here and we're gonna make it uh, you know we're gonna make it let's say 30 because we want these these edges right here to be really sharp so if somebody tries to drink from this glass they they have to you know kind of just you know 
start bleeding because you know these are warmer quality glasses you can't have the ability to drink unscathed that is not you can't get that at Walmart all right so let, let's just round it up here too so it's kind of nice to hold so you know at least you know you're holding it comfortably comfortably as as you're drinking it very uncomfortably and let's 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 highlight the chamfer feature now we can chamfer it these sides oh look at that so these are very powerful tools that that make things look very nice uh, and deadly um, and and that's that uh, and we should have an axis in the middle right here so right there we have an axis um, and I say that because now we're gonna do something interesting as I've just shown the round and the chamfer I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the whole command as well so let's punch a hole through this we have punched the hole through this. Uh, we can select. Oh no, I don't want to explain all this yet. Never mind. Pretend that whole thing doesn't exist yet. It's, it's pretend there's no hole because there isn't one. Uh, okay. So for now, I guess this is fine. Um, that's yeah. That's it for this video. Uh, let's see you in the next one.